Good afternoon. Let's hear it for Train 45. Let's hear it for the Patriots. Let's hear it for you all for being out here. This shows we've got a committed crowd, does it not? Yes. Okay, I've got a couple of questions to ask you all starting right out of the box. Why would we vote for a guy that cuts the veterans' pensions and retirement funds? Why would we vote for a guy that sends more jobs overseas and all the bills to pr promote and produce these jobs overseas and while we starve and can't find jobs? Okay. Why would we promote a guy that's got an entire career on being a politician when we all say term limits? My name is John Krauss and I want to be your next congressman. And I'm here to tell you today that I would propose a bill that cuts the Congress's pension and retirements and expense accounts before I would even think of touching the veterans' stuff. My son came back from three tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, two tours. And there's no way I would touch that, that boy's benefits. He represented our country and he did it with dignity and honor like most of y'all out there have done with your lives. Leave the benefits alone. If anything, make it more worthwhile for young people to become a part of our military and protect us. A strong nation survives by a strong military. Peace by strength. That's what Ronald Reagan told us, and that's what I stand for. We can't be wimped around anymore. We've got a Congress that's out of control. You can't tell them from one party to the next party. It's time we need people up there that have backbones and not puppet strings in their backs. I want to be your next congressman. I can't fix Washington all by myself. I'm one guy, but I can sure fight for Florida District 1, and that's where it counts, and that's where we live at. And one by one, each district, we can eventually take back this country. But first, folks, more important, guess what we have to do? We have to take back our party, don't we? Because if we keep re-electing these guys that run the country, that run the party, guess what? It's going to get worse. Most of you knew when I ran in 2010, I pleaded with you, please don't re-elect Jeff Miller. Why did I plead with you? Because I saw what was coming. We were going to get more of the same. When I spoke to Mr. Miller after the election, he told me I woke him up. He saw the light. He didn't realize so many people were angry with him. So, but two months later, he was back doing business as usual. He didn't take heed to the warning shot in 2010. This time around, I'm calling on every voter in District 1. Let's get rid of Jeff Miller. Let's get rid of career politicians. Let's get rid of all this gobbledygook and send someone up there that's not afraid to talk about what everybody else is afraid to talk about. Let's send somebody up there that's going to fight for us in District 1. And I'm going to tell you right now, folks, it's not about John Krause, because I can't do this without you. I want my district office to be run out of my district, not in Washington. I want you to be my lobbyist, not some corporate suit and tie with a checkbook and free tickets to a cruise in his pocket. I want to work for you, we the people. It's more important that our district gets served than them keeping their seats. Am I right? Who agrees with me? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I don't hear you. Yeah. I can't hear you, Gomer. Yeah. It's time that we send rock and roll, hard-working guys from our district into public offices. It's time we send local businessmen that know how to sign the front of a check and not the back of a check. It's time we stop having administrators and, and government jobs getting $65,000 bonuses while they fail at their jobs miserably. When was the last time we had a veteran get a $65,000 bonus for serving his country? I'm offended by that. It's repulsive. But Mr. Miller oversees the Veterans Affairs Committee, third largest committee, third most powerful committee in Washington, D.C. Well, guess what, folks? He approves and rubber stamps those perks that they give those suits in those government paid jobs. While people in his own district are suffering, unemployment rates were higher than the national average because we already had a weak economy when BRAC pulled all the jobs from the bases. God knows I understand BRAC and you got to realign the bases, but the congressman should be lobbying BRAC to bring jobs back to replace them. Do I get an amen out of anybody in this church or are y'all sleeping on me? Are we going to get fired up? 
Do you want to take back your party? Do you want to take back your nation? It starts right now. Right now it starts. Florida District 1. It's time to get excited. I've got a favor to ask everybody. I need 20 bucks. Can you help me? I need 500 people committed to getting John Krause on that ballot so you have a choice and you have a voice come August in a primary. I got a jug back there. If you all pitch in 20 bucks, a buck, whatever, because we're running out of time to make that ballot. God bless you all. Let's build Florida District 1 starting with our district Congress and let's take the seat back for hardworking people. Thank you and God bless you.